Is our village under attack? Put my shades on, yeah. Our farm's under attack from wildlife. Holy shit. Forget... Forget the mantis. It's a huge melee. Just get the Cazador. Those things are poisonous as hell. And the scorpions. No one die, please. You're just a random... No, that's Patricia. That's one of my... My actual city people. And she just punched that one down. If our if my city people die, they're dead. Come on. Damn desert spore creature. Got a Cazador limping away here. Uh, one of our inhabitants did die. Damn it. Cazador is down. Do not go up there. <sighs> There'll be more of this stuff. It's gonna be great. I'm trying to convince myself that this is the best course of action, by the way. Still, I'm gonna be doing that until I do it. Margaret Fury, wearing our combat armor. So yeah, I'm gonna rebuild all of this village pretty much exactly the same as it was. NCR troops are patrolling our town, doing their little patrol routes. So yeah. Things will change, but things will be the same. I'm gonna try to get it all matched up. I can't forget to replace our rocket ship. <sighs> okay. Let's go through here. <sighs> and what do we got in our chests? To get rid of. Beauty Parade, Bedtime Stories. I should probably take all of this stuff. I should probably take all of these books and read it. I'm gonna lose all of this stuff that I've been hanging on to. I can't take it with me whenever the Great Wipe happens. Rocket, Gnome, Tommy Gun, Uzi, and a Watts. I can sell those for a little bit of money. None of that other stuff is worth anything. Advanced Recon Helmets, those might be worth something. Advanced Recon Helmet Black. Caravan Shotgun might be worth something. I don't... Oh, okay, it does show the value over there on the side. Even though that's not the accurate value. I'm definitely not going to get 3,000 caps for that carbine. Plasma rifle. Mm, that weighs 12 pounds. Plasma defender. I don't have, We're not going to lose too much stuff. Just all this little itty bitty scrap. You know what, I will take that then. Let's go somewhere and sell this stuff. <clears throat> I don't know the, where the best vendor is. Strip, North, Vegas. I think the Strip... Did they have somebody I could sell to around here? H&H &H Tool Factory? No, I bumped into that while exploring, trying to fix that fucking broken cell over here. I didn't go into it, though, so still got surprises for you guys. Um, Repcon, Hunter's Farm, I would love to go there at some point. Okay, I think that there's a place to sell and pawn stuff if I go through the Freeside North Gate here. If I'm not mistaken, there was a rather fancy shop in town that had a whole bunch of stuff I could trade with. I could also go to the dock, Julie, try to trade some stuff to her. See how many caps. I need what, 800 caps or something like that? Let me check my inventory. I just need 2,000 caps to get in there. And maybe that'll give me a license to go see Only Benny. Keep you safe, my friend. Oh god, and see, even my sky is foobar right now. I got it, yeah. I've got work to do. The only way to fix it is to just put a trigger in the game directory's mouth and pull it. And to wipe it all out. What's our local map say? We've got Old Mormon Fort, Freeside, Freeside. All the way down to Freeside down here then. Surely there's gotta be, I guess, you know, I could go into Van Graff's, that Van Graff store. I'm sure they'd be willing to buy some of this. Drink up, come on, you can do it. Pump those little downtrodden legs of yours. Of course there's more fighting. Run kids, run! Run for your lives. Run for your lives. We're not even going to get involved. Let the thugs and street urchins find it out amongst themselves. 
So what do we got here? Do I have any place on my map? We've got Freeside through there, Silver Rush, Atomic Wrangler. There's the King School of Impersonation. I guess over here to the Silver Rush. Make a restock the needs. Atomic yeah. Wrangler. Where the booze is cheaper, the table's more valuable. I like that crier. She knows how to sell the place. Even though they don't, they don't got much to work with. Okay, buddy, let me in. Oh, you're going to take all my weapons, Ray, aren't you? And then I'm not going to be able to trade them away. Man. Okay, search away. I want to try Dad, this. I've stole all of your weapons. Thank you. <sighs> stole all my weapons, huh? What if I came here to trade you guys weapons? Really? Mr. Soren, please get to the point. Hang on. Just so we can see what's going on in here. Where's my map vision? The at? second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Someone get a broom. I'm guessing that okay, was his bodyguard. Everyone. Show's over. Back to work. And they do have some fancy weapons. You are Gloria Van Graaff, Welcome huh? to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? I have some bartering. I'd like to see what you have for sale. Of course. I don't want to do any work for him until I fix all the problems. She's got 409 caps. I only need 200 caps, so that shouldn't be too too difficult to come across. Wow, I can get 1,000 caps for this recon helmet? 3,000 caps? Holy crap. I guess I probably should sell one of them. Nothing else even comes close. A solar generator gets me 5,000 caps. I might... Well... At this point, I could sell it. Hell. I might have to re-get those plans, too. Oh, yeah. And we'll sell the recon helmet. And... What do I want from her? Tesla cannon amplifier. You're not getting out of this... Without giving me something in return. Flamer. A Gauss Rifle ECC. Doubles ammunition. Are these all just parts? A laser pistol. Laser pistol scope. That's fancy. A laser rifle. A multi-pass rifle. P94. Screw it. I'm just going to let her take make some money on that. 2,298 caps. I just want to go see Benny. Once I got Benny killed, or not, I don't know if I'm going to take vengeance on his ass. Okay, is this all my stuff? I have to set up all my hotkeys? Son of a bitch. Let's see. Let's put that gun on one. I got an H&P, H&K P90, put that on three. MP5, you use 9mm, go on 4. Cowboy Repeater M is on 5. And what about 6? I need something big on 6. A grenade rifle, there we go. And on 7, since I'm not going to be doing any more bess for the time being. Uzi uses 9mm. About a watt. Put once on seven, and I need my sunglasses on eight. Even though they didn't get taken away. Okay, so let's go get into the strip here. And do our grizzly task. Let's see, there's that gun. I want to see the P90. There we go. Because I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna lose almost all of my guns whenever we I restart. I don't know what I'm gonna come back with. By the way, by the time I I catch up to where I want to be enough to record again. Because like I say, once I restart everything, I'm going to start off with a brand spanking new character. What? In some of the game, some of the beginning part, I'm just going to go through by myself. 
Yeah, blast him. There we go. So there's no telling what type of uh, weapons and armor I'll have whenever I come back to see you guys. This gun probably will be gone. It's the only one I bumped into this whole time out here. Hello, robot friends. What are you doing moon rolling? Come here. Come here. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Okay. Trespassers will be shot. Hmm, let's see. Science, credit check. I'll submit to the credit check. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. You didn't take my caps, did you? I don't think they did. Just wanted to see I had enough money to blow in here. Which I do. More than enough. If I'd stop hoarding all my scrap and just go sell it. We could probably even afford one of those huge old machine guns from the Gunrunners. So this is it, huh? Hang on, night vision, go off. What am I doing with you on? Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Well, I see. Let's see. I know he's not Victor, because this tells me he's not. What are you doing here? This place looks amazing. Where do I start? Point me to the tops, Victor. I've got a score to settle. I want to do this quickly. Sorry, Rambler. I know you're fixing to serve up some vengeance, but I'm going to have to point you to the lucky 38 first. Oh, come on. Mr. House, the head honcho of New Vegas, is itching to make your acquaintance. He'll help you serve that cold dish of yours extra chili. Really? Mmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Fine, I guess I'll go see him. Quest added, the house always wins, part one. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting for you. How long is this quest line gonna be? And look at all these people. Wow. Oh, hooker. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. Have you seen my, my guns? Trade? All kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Hmm, I'm not interested. Maybe some other time, Mr. Holdout. Suit yourself. It's not my fault if they find your body dumped in Freeside. They won't. <clears throat> I promise that. Gamora, Lucky 38. I want to see something. What's my quest say? Search the strip, confront Benny at the tops. That's on the other side of the wall, which I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to to go to. Victor, there you Hi, are. Hi, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Um, okay, Victor, thank you. I you see are you Victor. brought a friend. Sorry, partner, but they're going to have to stay outside. No problem. I'll go, uh, I'll head up by myself. Come back soon now. Mm-hmm. Where are they where are my friends? Did you already dispose of them? Some guy's throwing up on the wall over there. Disgusting. Fucking drunkard. Um, where's the handle? There we go. <clears throat> yes, I'm hoping this quest line isn't too long, damn it. Wow. This place is fancy. Aw, oh, little friend, they didn't stop you, did they? Securitron hey, Mark one. There's Victor. Door to suite 38 floor 22 suite. Where am I going, Where Victor? Where to, Well, you said I was supposed to go to uh, the penthouse then. I talk to your bossy. He better not put a bullet in my head. I'll be quite yeah, disappointed. Before. I need glasses up here. Your move, Green. Please don't shoot me. I'm a good person. Mr. House is a TV this monitor. This has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally, and I suspect figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? I don't really know. Let's see. 
To be honest, I have never seen anything quite like this place. The wasteland of DC didn't have anything this fancy. And anything I've traveled across in my journey so far, I've uh, never seen anything like this. Of course you haven't. Vegas always was one of a kind. What you see down on the strip is just a fraction of the city's former glory, and yet, more than an echo, I preserved its spirit. Or perhaps you were referring to the Lucky 38? The years haven't been kind to her, but still she manages to impress. <clears throat> so why the VIP treatment? Don't you know I'm just a courier? Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Hmm. Let's just get down to business, Mr. House. What do you know? The business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. The task is, but I'm guessing the journey won't be. What do you propose? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Wow. I, I can't out-barter him, um, so let's just forget that. One thousand caps? I have a few questions, Mr. House. What did you wish to know? Um, let's see. How do I get to Benny? Tell me about Benny. How do I get to Benny? What's your advice? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards, except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. Hmm. The chairman are your employees. Don't they take your orders? Say I want to take a diplomatic approach? How could I do that? If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. And then? Uh, any ideas how I could catch him off guard? Does he wander around regularly? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Well, I guess I could always shoot the lock off. <clears throat> the chairman are your employees, don't they take your orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Hmm. And why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families, or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. I see. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Hmm, what is this platinum chip exactly? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way. Really? <clears throat> Speech? I can talk him into it. Ooh, the more I know about the chip, the easier I can find it, you know. You might keep an eye out for any computers that Benny's been using. Maybe even a computer lab of some sort. Is it some type of data disk? A compendium of knowledge? I have a right to know more, you know, especially if I'm going to be risking my life to go get it. That's simply not true. I am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it, and I paid for it, dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of U.S. dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades, I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I know why he used a single courier. Easier to avoid detection. 
But I'll ask anyways. You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I, see. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Closer than you know, Mr. House. Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Mm, tell me about Benny and tell me your terms again. Who are you anyways, Mr. House? You look like I've seen you in a movie or something before. An old hollow reel. I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. I see. So, you're a ghost in the machine. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. <clears throat> I don't have enough medicine, unfortunately. You must be like totally a brain in the jar, dude. So how did you stay alive all this time? Immortality was quite out of reach, unless you were a mutant, from what I've understood, or a ghoul. Are you a ghoul, Mr. House? Is that why there's no up-to-date pictures of you? Let's just say it was very... costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. I see. And how did you establish New Vegas, exactly? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. It's always better than war. Um, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Mm. Tell me a little bit about Benny. What do you know? Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I'd planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. I see. <clears throat> and what, what use would you have for a protege? You've been around for quite some time. You don't plan on disappearing, do you? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. I don't really want to be your protege, Mr. House. I have a... A lineage of my own. Let's see. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ambushed me? I'm guessing he probably couldn't. Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. <clears throat> and why did Benny betray you, besides the thirst for power? I have to think that he found out about the platinum chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. <clears throat> Let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? <sighs> I don't care about the factions vying for New Vegas at this time. I'll go get your chip, Mr. House. Or at least do the best I can. Have you considered the terms of my offer? There's little else for us to discuss until you have. Well, I thought the terms were I was going to get to put a bullet in Benny's head and you were going to get your chip. 
Tell me your terms again, I guess. As I said before, Benny's fate is yours to decide. Once you've delivered the chip, I will pay you the amount agreed upon. Yep, that's what I thought. I accept. Well enough. Return to me when you have the platinum chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? No. I'll return when I have it. Until then. Bring the platinum chip to Mr. House. So, there's Mr. House. What else is through here? I wasn't expecting to bump into him right away. Welcome to the Lucky 38 Hotel and Casino. What's this? Notice. Entrance for employees only. Please don't shoot me, robots. None of them seem active. Do you know that I'm poking around your house, Mr. House? We got down there. Guessing these beds haven't been used in quite some time. Okay, we'll scout along the other side. And then I want to get this journey underway so that I can fix everything and then we can continue on as if though nothing happened. I can hear gunshots down below. Ooh, is this a nice little mini bar area? Because my dehydration levels increased. Damn it, the sink don't work. Okay, let's drink something. What do we got here? We have Sunset Sarsaparilla. That'll have to do. Okay. Down we go, then. Comb the streets, look for Benny. I would love to bump into him outside on the streets. Confront him there. Hey, Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one who gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. <clears throat> um, let's see. Go to the casino, the presidential suite, the cocktail lounge, or stay here. <sighs> cocktail lounge. Casino's the bottom floor. Take me to the cocktail lounge. I want to check it out. What do we got here? Is there anything for me to drink? Someone give me a sink. An empty whiskey bottle. Not not good enough. None of these pool spits work. Um, so what the hell is here? Nothing. I don't see anyone eating. I don't see any food anywhere I can take. Okay. Down we go. Take me to the casino. We'll get out of here. Ground floor, please. Man, this place is fancy looking, though. I really do like it. It's a shame there's not more people in here actively doing something. I guess people don't gamble at the Lucky 38. 